Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Thursdays. In today's video, I will show you how to save hard drive space when making videos in Final Cut Pro. Many users out there are using laptops with limited hard drive space to edit videos, and as many of you already know, hard drives can fill up pretty fast with video libraries. So let's go over a few tricks I use to keep my library size down. First thing I do is before importing files into Final Cut Pro, I review and trim my clips with QuickTime. This allows me to trim off the unnecessary footage I know I'm not going to use and keep the original file size to a minimum. Before doing this, I would strongly recommend copying your original footage to an external hard drive just in case. I have a demo video on my desktop I shot for an Apple Watch review video I made. The file size of this video is approximately 330 megabytes. I'll right click it and choose open with QuickTime player. I'll skim through the video and I know for the first half of it I'm just set in frame and in focus and will not need it for my project. From the menu bar select edit and trim. An overview of my clip pops up at the bottom where I can click and drag the yellow handles to set the start and end points of my clip. I'll click done and save my clip. My clip size is cut in half before I even import into Final Cut Pro. Next, let's take a look at importing files. I'll open up Final Cut Pro and create a new library, just so we can monitor the size. I'll click this import button and open the import window. Over on the right hand side is the import settings. Since the files are already on my hard drive, I'll choose leave files in place. Copying files to library will just duplicate them and take up double the space on my hard drive. Now, depending on your file types and computer specs, create and proxy or optimized media might be necessary for nice smooth editing. Proxy files will take up less space than optimized files, but you will lose quality in the clips you use for editing. You can still export full quality videos from proxy files, just what you see in Final Cut Pro will be lesser quality. From the Analyze and Fix menu, only choose the options that you feel are necessary. The less you select, the smaller your library size will be. I'll select Optimize Media for smoother editing and import my files. I'll navigate over to my library and finder to check the size. 3.3GB and that's only with 3 short clips and no projects. I'll create a small project with some basic transitions, titles and some sound effects. For everything you add to your project, Final Cut Pro creates render files so you can view it in real time. If I go back and check the size of my library, you can see how quick it grows. Once your project is done or you put it on hold to work on a different project, all these render files can be deleted so they aren't eating up hard drive space. When you go back to this project, Final Cut Pro can easily recreate all the necessary render files. To delete all the render files, I'll select my library and from the menu bar select File, Delete Generator Library Files, and select All Checkboxes. I'll close Final Cut Pro and check my library size in Finder. As you can see, the size is considerably smaller, freeing up hard drive space for other projects. These are just some of the methods I use to free up hard drive space. Let me know in the comments what you're doing to manage storage space on your hard drive. Please hit the like button and share this video across social media. For more great Final Cut Pro tutorials, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. New Final Cut Pro tutorial videos release every Thursday. And if you're on Facebook or Twitter, don't forget to follow me. Links to both in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.